Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. <clears throat> this is a set based on games and tournaments. It says that there are uh, five teams in two groups. In group one, there are teams A, B, C, D, E, and in group two, there are teams F, G, H, I, J. Okay. They played in a hockey tournament, and each team of group A played one match against each team of group two. Okay. Uh, the table. How to read the table? It is given that that B lost to G. So if you see L, L means lost. So uh, and E won against J. Okay, so E is winning against J. So you have to look like win loss in this direction, win loss or tie in this direction. Okay. So for example, if B lost to A, this is L for B, so it is a win for G. It is a loss for B, win for I. Similarly, win for D, loss for J. Okay. So this is how we have to read the table in one direction. That is the horizontal direction. Okay. <clears throat> then team D did not win against team H that is given to us and three points awarded for a win one point to each team for a tie and no points for a loss and these are the total points given to the teams okay now let us do one thing let us find out the number of wins losses etc if we can find using the given points so four point is possible only by three plus one so that is one win and one tie okay now this tie is already known to us okay so we have one win and three loss remaining for team a that needs to be filled now five is three plus one plus one one win and two tie right so we are given the losses so we will have to win and add two ties to it okay <clears throat> c has nine points so only possibility is three plus three plus three so three wins and two losses Team D 10 points. 10 points is possible. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1. Okay. So uh, we will have 3 wins and a tie. 1 win is already given to us. So 2 wins, a tie, and a loss. This is the pending thing. 8 is 3 plus 3 plus 1 plus 1. Right. So 2 wins and 2 ties. 2 wins are already known to us. So 2 tie and a loss that we have to fill for this team. Right now, let us look at vertical direction and see for these teams for group two. Okay, F has seven points. Seven points will be uh, three plus three plus one, so two win and one tie. Okay, and two loss. <clears throat> so win win. Now, one thing to note here is if you consider win, so you will write L for this. Right, L will mean wins win for F. W will win. Uh, mean loss for f so anyway two wins and two losses so 2 w 2 l okay now team g has six points now six point could be three plus triple one or it could be three plus three also how to determine see the number of ties wins losses if you count from group a that should be same as group two okay so if we count from group uh, one so there are one two Okay, one tie match is here. One, two, three. Then we have uh, another tie match. Four, five, six. So there are six tie matches. So total there should be six ties. So using that we will have to fill information here, right? We will come to it later. Uh, then this is eight points. Eight points means two win and two tie and one loss. Okay. Now one win is given. So one win we have to fill. Two tie and one loss. So one win means L we have to fill. T, T and W. Okay. Then team I has five points. Five point is one win, two tie and two losses. Okay. Uh, one uh, one win is already filled, right? So this is this is considered like if it is L, that means a win for team I, right? So one win is already mentioned and tie is already mentioned. So one win, loss and tie. Okay. And similarly for team J, that is two win and one tie and two losses. Okay. Now these W means losses for this team, right? So we uh, we will have two wins. So that means L, L and T. Okay. So uh, these means two losses. So losses are represented by W for this team, right? So we have two W, one T and two L. So two W we have already mentioned. So we have this thing right okay now let us find that how to mix match these things right how do we get that who won against whom now let us see this thing 
that it lost two matches and there is a tie okay now this team does not have any tie so it will be a loss we'll have ll filling here right because this team does not play any tie match this team also does not play any tie match so this will be l and correspondingly l here <laughs> now the remaining will be <laughs> tie match here okay so this is done right uh, now we have let us look for this team so uh, now we can fill this total tie matches also right so total tie matches was one tie match three four and six so one of the questions is also how many given matches of the tournament were tied so there are six tie matches so six tie matches we have to count one uh, two one more we have to fill that is three right five and six so it is no tie match right so it will be three plus three so that means two wins okay and three losses two wins for three uh, three losses so we will have two times l and three times w because win is represented by l here right so this one l is already done so we have to fill l and three w okay uh now it is ttl right so there is no tie with this team so it will be l here okay and these will be t and t so remove one t from these okay so we have done with this team also and now we have w and l that could be with anything now they there are three w's left right that is means uh, victory for these teams or loss for team g so these we have filled so cut three w's here sorry not this one one w we removed one w we have to remove and one more w removed okay uh, now this is done so this these two are losses okay so these losses also will remove and from here also we'll remove one loss and one loss right now one thing is given that d did not win against team h right so d did not win it could be loss or it could be a tie also right but we cannot fill uh, we cannot fill uh, yeah we can have la we cannot have l here okay because it is uh, l is also already crossed out so we will have a tie between d and h okay so tie here tie here <clears throat> now one win loss is pending here okay and then we have two wins and a loss and this team is tie and a win right so see one tie and one win for team h that means win means loss for team h so t will come in this right t cannot come in this so t will be here and w will be so t and w knocked out so t and <coughs> w knocked out okay so one win is left so we'll have win here so this will complete this part right now we are left with one win one loss okay one win one loss here we have uh, one win we filled so we are left with one win and one loss okay one win one loss and w l right so all four we have w and l like all for all teams now that cannot be filled out right we can have one case like this second case could be like this i mean one on the left hand side that loss win right win loss okay other case could be win loss loss win because that will uh, equate these things right so we cannot determine for these four matches rest we can fill so one question we already answered that there are six tie matches in the tournament what was the result of the match between d and g so between d and g d is the winner team b had a tie match against which two teams so team b had tie matches against h and j against which team did a win the match so a won the match against team g so that is the solution to this set and the answers to the questions associated with it